Hello, it is September 1st, which is so exciting to say. It's actually like a super nice cloudy morning, which just makes my heart so happy. And I just wanted to say last night I started this book, I got 100 pages in and I've been going back and forth between the audiobook and reading it physically with my eyeballs. And even though I'm only 100 pages in, I can already tell that this book is going to break me. <laughs> it's honestly reminding me so much of a little life so far and it's giving me those vibes and it's just like beautifully written and I can just feel where this is going and it's just gonna break my heart, I already know. <laughs> I like the shirt, I can't even get it in there. <laughs> You're like, oh. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Um, this is like a huge book. <laughs> Me and Rachel just filmed the most fun video. It was like a Taylor Swift themed video and it was Reputation versus Lover, like comparing the albums like track by track. Filming that video was so much fun. I'll have to link it down below, but it was really fun and it just confirmed the fact that Reputation is superior for me at least. And I was digging up some of my old like Reputation merch and I've just been having these like amazing glossy giant photos of her just like sitting on my shelves. So like I kind of want to take these out of this booklet and like put them up in my room like as if I'm like 16 years old again but I don't care they're just so cool like there's so many nice pictures in these like look at that like wow like that's stunning like I want that on my wall show them which one you got uh -huh. we just got back from Bath and Body Works and we bought a lot of shit <laughs> that is the one that Rachel bought what is it called Autumn Woods, Autumn Woods. <laughs> they have these little ones that were two for 20 and like by themselves they're like 15 dollars so it's such a deal so i got frozen lake and leaves which these both smell really incredible by the way i think i like frozen lake a little bit more i don't know it's like more moody you know but but leaves smells like straight up fall in a candle it is pretty exceptional and then i got bergamot waters Dude, this is the best scent of all time. Like, I seriously wish you could smell this. Like, if you ever go to a Bath and Body Works, smell this one. And then I got this cute as hell soap. Marshmallow pumpkin latte. And it's literally so cute. And there's little drawings of pumpkins and lattes on it. And I'm dead. And then I got these three sprays, which like these like spray in the room and they're supposed to be like just as effective as candles, I think. But I figured it'd be cool to like keep one in my car maybe, like I don't know. But I got white pumpkin, pumpkin apple, and leaves, you know, because apparently leaves is like my new favorite scent. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. It's a couple of hours later, but I went ahead and did the Taylor Swift reputation wall that I was wanting to do. And I think it turned out so cool. So check it out. Isn't it just stunning? Wow. I was talking about this on Instagram with somebody, but I think that the Reputation era has like my favorite photo shoot out of all of the eras. So I'm so like happy with how this looks. Like holy shit, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at these new pants that I got from American Eagle. They're so nice. They're like jeans, but they're like jeggings, so they're super soft. And the material is just like, I don't even know how to describe it. But like, and then at the bottom they have this like zipper and it like scrunches up. Oh, they're just so cute. And they're like super soft, so I love it because I can wear them to work because they're like, they look like jeans, but they're actually really soft. And it just makes my life so happy. Like they're stretchy. Amazing, 10 out of 10. We gather here, we line up in a sun
bun. Rachel put it in a bun, so shout out to Rachel. We are waiting for our parents to come over. We're making dinner tonight, just having them over for dinner. Rachel's making her, um, what did you call it? Cheesy beef alfredo. Cheesy beef alfredo, it's lit. <laughs> Look at her cute shirt, isn't it cute? Mm, super cute. Mm. Cute. I love to see it. Yeah, it's super cute. I'm not like dressed up. <laughs> All these little breads. I'm gonna go in the oven. It smells amazing in here. It smells like so many mixtures of candles. We brought out the extra chair from my room and moved it out a little bit. So there's enough room for four. Rachel's Google Home is possessed. Hey Google, stop the music. Oh, okay. No. Excuse me. Hey, hey Google. Can you stop the music, please? What's up? Yes. Right, it is finally time. Guess what time it is? Time. It's time to watch I'm Thinking of Ending Things. There she is. Ah. Um, yeah, what a, what a strange movie that was last night. <laughs> I'm so like confused over I'm Thinking of Ending Things because I feel like if I hadn't read that book first, then I really think I wouldn't like the movie at all because it's very confusing. Even for me who has read the book, I think it's a little confusing. So I can imagine that for people that haven't read the book, it's probably like super confusing. Like there were so many things that I did love about the movie. Like I loved the creepy, eerie, unsettling vibe. Like it definitely had that same feeling that the book had. The acting was really great in the movie. The camera work was really cool in the movie. The way it would like pan in certain scenes. I thought it was really well done. All the scenes at the farmhouse were so freaking creepy and unsettling and just awkward and weird. And I loved it for those reasons, but also the pacing of the movie freaking sucked. Like the opening scene did not need to be 20 minutes long. Like I was so bored. All the time that they spent in the car was like really dragged out and maybe that was intentional, but like it was just getting kind of boring for me. And the ending was pretty different from the book and I feel like they left out a pretty substantial moment from the book that is essential to understanding the story in this movie. But the ending did have one thing that was kind of cool that was unexpected that wasn't a part of the book and I don't know. I feel like the more I think about it afterwards, the more that I'm enjoying it, but my initial reaction after finishing it was like kind of negative. I was just like, what the fuck is this? Hello, it is September 9th, I think, and me and Tank are going on a walk for the first time by ourselves. I'm in the car because I'm driving down to the local college. Ugh, my neck is all red because he was scratching me, but anyways, Rachel's not feeling so good today, so I just decided that I would take Tank out on a walk so he could like get out, you know, and get some exercise, get some sun. It's pretty hot today, it's 84 degrees, so here's to hoping we'll survive. Yeah, I think it'll be a fun time. Hopefully Tank has a good time. <laughs> Ooh, we are walking. <laughs> Come on, Tank. He's so cute and small. Aren't you so cute and small? <laughs> nope. We only made it like 10 minutes before Tank threw up and then I felt really bad because he seemed really overheated. So, um... Yeah, we left, and it's really hot outside today too, so that probably doesn't help. But, uh, 
But yeah, I don't think um, French Bulldogs are very good walking dogs, you know? I thought it might be fun to like throw it back to old school Taylor because I feel like her older songs sound like songs that I might have like written in high school. And I just, I haven't sung these songs in so long. We were both young when I first saw you I closed my eyes and the flashback starts I'm standing there On a balcony in summer I see the lights, see the party, the ball dance I see you make your way through the crowd and say hello Little did I know note was wrong but who cares that song is so fun oh my gosh you guys i am so dumb so i went to rite aid today because my heating pad that i've been using for like so freaking long um nearly caught on fire the other day um it just like tore open kind of like there's like a torn open spot right here and then it turned black and like whenever i try to use it it's like it gets burning hot in this one spot now and it's like, I don't know, I just don't want to risk, like, you know, lighting the whole place on fire. So, I went to get a new heating pad, and I thought I got a heating pad, but apparently it's, like, a heating blanket or some shit. When it said heated wrap on here, I just assumed that meant, like, you know, a heating pad, but it's just, like, wrapped in, like, something else. But, like, no. This is, like, the size of a small blanket. Like, oh, oh my god, it's huge. So, I'm like, fuck. It, this is not a heating pad. Um, I don't know if it's like good or not. I mean, I'm probably, I'm probably just gonna end up keeping it because you know it does get really cold here in the winter time in Washington. So this might actually be super nice to like sleep with in the winter. But like, fuck! I thought I was getting a new heating pad. It is September 16th, and I am up kind of early. It's like 9:30 right now. I have to go to work to do some work things. I'm not actually like scheduled to work today. I just have to go in. It's not like a meeting, but it's like I have to go in and do some things today. Isn't my new phone case like so freaking cute? It it matches my AirPods case and that just makes me so freaking happy. <laughs> but yeah, um it's really weird out today. It's like really like cloudy and foggy and like low visibility and I can't tell if it's like all smoke or if it's all fog, but it looks like really spooky out and like I would want to be cuddled up in bed under a blanket right now. <laughs> It's all good. I've got my strawberry banana naked drink and um, we're good to go. I'm just gonna listen to my creepy caffeine on the way there. In sync. And so I'm, I don't know how or why. Yeah, I always have that fear. There's gonna be one day that we step into this room and one of us starts reading the story mm -hmm. and the other one goes, well, shit. Yeah, but, yeah same. I have not heard of either of our stories before I researched mine and then you told yours. So, I mean, it's not surprising because unfortunately. It's happening. It's happening. <laughs> Her vocals are so good. Got a new nail polish color today. It's like 
freaking bluish purplish. I'm kind of obsessed with it. Oh my god, it looks so cool in person. Also, um, Taylor Swift just performed Betty for the first time at the like country music award show and oh my god, it was so fucking good. And there was something so magical about hearing her live vocals without the distraction of like screaming fan noises. Because usually like the thing I hate about live performances is like the sound of the fans is always so loud and annoying. But like just hearing her pure ass voice with the guitar and like no other sounds like that was the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. And the ending literally almost made me emotional. Like she was just getting so into it and like you could tell she was like trying to like flip her hair with the end. Like oh my god it was just so cute. Dude look what came in the mail today. This creepy caffeine mug that I ordered because I'm obsessed with the creepy caffeine podcast now and it's just so cute and so fitting to have a mug that says creepy caffeine on it you know because coffee will go in this <laughs> and like it's so cute oh my god I love the creepy caffeine podcast so freaking much I was listening to it the whole way here and like I just started listening to this podcast at the end of August during summer ween and they have like a hundred and two or 103 episodes now and I've already listened to 26 of them like I am plowing through their entire backlist and I just like I love their podcast so much so I got a mug now. Also today it was really nice because I went over to my parents house and I filmed this really fun video with my mom about like reviewing some of the books that she's read in like the last year or so and it was a whole lot of fun so I'm excited to edit that and get it up soon. It'll probably be up by the time this video goes up. It's winter's last day I and I'm sad. sad. <laughs> this is You're so depressing. So winter's been here longer than I've been here. <laughs> This is so fucking depressing. Now you're, now you're the last. Now I'm the <laughs> oldest one here. <laughs> Sad. Hey there. So it is the night of September 18th and today was a really sad day because one of my closest friends in this whole wide world, Winter, had her last day working at the restaurant today. And it honestly just makes me so sad because you guys don't even understand. Winter has been there longer than I've even been there. She's been there for as long as I've been working there. And we've been co-workers for three plus years. Like at least three and a half years. And we've just gotten so close over the last three and a half years. And we're like genuinely best friends in real life too. And it's just, it's so sad to see her go. Like she's the one that I did boxing with and we're just like really close and this just sucks like i don't even know what it's like to work at the restaurant without winter there i'm really hoping that when she's done with nursing school we can like you know go back to boxing together again because she's like really busy right now because of nursing school and that's part of the reason why she's leaving is because of nursing school and you know like once we get over this whole like pandemic thing i'd really love to be able to go boxing with her like weekly again because that was like one of the highlights of 2019 for me was going boxing twice a week with winter but, like oh, i'm just so sad i just feel like there's so many people leaving lately at the restaurant that it like breaks my heart like because i've had four of my really close friends leave the restaurant in the last few months and it's just been really hard <laughs> the only positive thing about today though is that it really is beginning to start to feel like fall because today was just kind of like cloudy and cold-ish all day and tonight it's just supposed to rain all night like it's already started drizzling when I was driving home and we're just supposed to get rain all night and then there's gonna be a lot of rainy days next week so at least I have that to look forward to hello there it is the night of September 20th and today I literally spent the entire day reading The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager and I just finished it like 30 minutes ago and I am so freaking shook. Like, I read this book back in July 2018 when it came out. So it's been like a little over two years since I've read this. And I don't know why I forgot so many of the details of this book. I'm sitting here so shook over that ending. Like, there were so many plot twists at the end that I have forgotten about. Like, I literally only remembered one of the plot twists. And even then, the memory of it was kind of fuzzy. But like, 
there were so many incredible plot twists like my mind is blown right now and like i just love riley sager's writing so much like he's definitely probably my favorite thriller author like confirmed because the way he writes is just so interesting i love how he ends all of his chapters i love that they're all short chapters and like i don't know there's just something about his writing that really clicks with me like i just love it also something that's very exciting is that my sister is currently reading the silent patient finally because i've been wanting her to read it for so long because she loves psychology so much so i was like dude you're gonna love it and just today she read like 230 pages of it or something so i think she's gonna finish it either tonight or tomorrow i don't know but i'm so excited because that's one of my favorite thrillers and I can't wait for her to get to the plot twist. <laughs> Hello, it is September 22nd and it is the first day of fall, technically. And I am so freaking happy about it. And today is, it's not super like fall like today. It's kind of like, I mean, it's kind of like chilly and cloudy, I guess. So I guess that's as fall as we're gonna get here, but it's officially fall. I'm so happy. So I'm recording right now. You are. I am. <laughs> it's fall today. Fall? It is fall. So it's it's sick. It's amazing. I am ready for it. It's actually it is, cool outside. It's, it's under 70. Yeah. I'm like hot damn. I know, it's like 65 today. 65? Yeah, it's perfect. We're a bunch of losers talking about the weather. I know. <laughs> People are gonna watch this and be like, what the fuck? I'm like terrible at the filming thing. <laughs> yeah. Never hired me as a photographer. <laughs> I would have never think to do You would never what? I would have never think to do that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm not even qualified to be a photographer. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. what, what are the qualifications? What, what do I need to accomplish? Knowing how to operate a camera. Huh? Knowing how to operate a camera. I learned how to turn it on. Yeah, with my help. <laughs> Alright, well. Skull star. The skull star. Skull star. First grade, heck yeah. Uh, the sun is going down early now and it's beautiful out here. It's just lovely. It's freaking rainy. Perfect way to start fall. Oh yeah. Tink, run! <laughs> right when we were drawing. I know. And then he stops. <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> Last night, there were some pretty crazy rainstorms and thunderstorms. It got pretty loud later. And uh, just a note to self, you can't listen to Never Grow Up by Taylor Swift as an adult that has moved out or else you will blow your eyes out. Because last night I was just listening to the Speak Now album because I was trying to like match books to the songs because I would really like to film that video soon. <laughs> and holy shit, dude. I haven't listened to Never Grow Up in like years because that song has always made me sad and it always makes me cry and I just don't frequently listen to songs that are gonna make me cry. So I listened to it last night because I had forgotten just how sad it is and holy fuck, I bawled my eyes out so hard, I think I need therapy now. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to meet my mom. She just arrived here downstairs and we are going to Barnes and Noble just to go book shopping together and then getting lunch. I don't know. I'm, I, we want to eat in the car though because you know the pandemic. At Barnes and Noble. <laughs> Woohoo! It's gonna be the best. It's gonna time. be lit. <laughs> it's gonna be lit. <laughs> while at Barnes and Noble this afternoon, I bought the roommate and heart-shaped box because I've actually been reading this one quite a bit on my phone and I just loved it so much that I wanted to own it physically because this is feeling like it's gonna be a five-star romance for me. 
Like, I just love it so freaking much. And then I also got this one because this is another book that I want to read in October. It's part of some of my October reading plans. And oh, I'm so excited about these. <laughs> okay, ever since listening to the Speak Now album again, I wanted to play my favorite song on Speak Now because I've never done a cover of it before. And I love this song. The way you move is like a full on rainstorm. And I'm a house of cards. And you're the kind of reckless that you send me running. But I kind of know that I won't get far. And you still are there in front of me, just close enough to touch. Close enough to hold. favorite songs off of Speak Now. I'm so glad you made it to the city. How's life? Tell me how's your family. I haven't seen them in a while. You've been good, busier than ever. Small talk, work in the way. For another cover but you know this song just really reminds me of the start of fall like this song just sounds like it's changing the season to fall to me and since you know now we're in fall it just seems fitting and also what's so great about this song is it's only two chords and it's like the fact that taylor swift created something so beautiful with only two chords it's just mind-boggling
I guess there's more than just two chords. She throws in an E minor there. It was unexpected. Hello, it's Sunday, September 27th, and I just got done doing the live show with Allie and a bunch of the girls over on her channel. We talked about the last time I lied by Riley Sager, and it was super fun, and I'll link it down below if you missed it, but I just wanted to show you because today me and my sister went and got a bunch of Halloween decorations because it's just about that time, and check them out. They're so cute. Okay, it's on this bookshelf. We put the what were supposed to be purple lights, but they're kind of looking a little pink, but... <laughs> It's fine, we're here for it, we love it. Tank, no. And outside, we put these glowy orange lights that you can't really see yet, but hopefully tonight they'll be popping. And then over here, we put up these little jack-o'-lanterns that glow, they're little pumpkins. And that's Rachel's drawing of Tank, by the way. It's really friggin' good. She's an artiste. And then I got this little pumpkin and it says, hello pumpkin, and it sparkles on the top. It's so cute. And then we got this cute little thing to hang on our door. It says, enter if you dare. We love. So it's September 28th and it's nighttime. And earlier today, me and my sister literally binge watched the entirety of Ratched on Netflix. And we watched like the first three episodes last night or the night before. And then we watched five episodes this afternoon. And the show was so good. I loved it so much. Sarah Paulson is such a freaking queen and she's on that queen shit. And the show was just so good. It had like a similar vibe to American Horror Story, which I know because it's the same creator as American Horror Story. But it also kind of reminded me of like Bates Motel vibes. Like it had very similar vibes to Bates Motel. And I just, I really loved it. I thought it was so great. And it was so creepy and gory and like over the top, but like in a good way, I don't know. Can there even be a good way for that? I don't know. I touched his arm softly. No, no, we never did. Check out my new Pet Cemetery King, Stephen King shirt. This actually came super quick because the other night I was up until like three in the morning and I was watching my girl Katie's summerween vlogs. Like I'm so behind. I have so many videos on my watch later that it's kind of ridiculous. But as I was watching, she got this shirt when she was reading Pet Cemetery, and I was like, that shirt is so cool. So I got it because it was three in the morning and you know, who doesn't do some online shopping at three in the morning? That's when you make the best decisions. But I do think this was a really great decision because the shirt is so cool. And now me and Katie are twinning and that makes me happy because Katie's really cool. And her vlogs just like make me smile and she's such a like happy, positive person. And I just, I adore her videos. Also, um, today is only Wednesday, but this week has just not been my week. I was at work and I was on lunch and I was getting, picking up milkshakes for me and my coworker Austin. And as I was walking out, I freaking dropped one of the milkshakes and it went everywhere in the parking lot and splashed all over my shoes and my jeans and I was like shit because it was only my lunch break and I was still working like all day yesterday. Luckily I went back inside the restaurant and I was like oh my god oh my god I'm so sorry I just spilled this milkshake everywhere and the girl was like so freaking nice and she actually ended up remaking my milkshake in a bigger size than the one that I originally ordered and she was just so freaking kind about it and I felt like such an idiot. <laughs> and yesterday was such a freaking busy day at work and I'm pretty sure it's because of the debate, like the debate was last night. And oh my God, it, don't even get me started on that debate. What the fuck? It was just a hot mess. America's a hot mess right now. I don't want to talk about it. But on the bright side, tomorrow is October 1st and I'm just hoping that things will begin to improve in October. I'm gonna be so busy tomorrow at work that I, I'm not even like really excited about the fact that it's October tomorrow. Like, I don't know. I feel like I want to be more excited about the fact that tomorrow is October 1st, but also I'm dreading tomorrow so hard because I'm going to have such a busy work day and I have to go in early in the morning because tomorrow is payroll and then we have to do like stock counts and then there's already a huge order tomorrow morning that we have confirmed and I have to do inventory and just like, oh gonna be so much work and I'm just stressed like I always get really stressed when I know I have to do a lot the next day wow that calendar flip though it's October 
Hello, so we are a few days into October now, so I think it is a good time for me to wrap up these vlogs here. But uh, yeah, September was a really great month, but also a really shitty month. I didn't really talk about it in my vlogs for this entire month because I wanted to like respect my sister's privacy, but she's been going through a lot of really difficult health problems in the month of September. She's been out of work for nearly like the entire month. She has been thinking that she's either like lactose intolerant or that she might have something like IBS or like she just doesn't know and we were going to urgent care quite often in the month of September just to like try and figure out what's going on with her because it's gotten really bad and they discovered that she had something in her liver it was like a campylobacter infection i think is what that was called and they told her that would pass on its own so she had that for about two weeks and it was really terrible and awful for her and now she had to go back and see a gastrologist and get like ultrasounds done and they said they found abnormalities with her kidneys and now they think that she might have kidney stones she doesn't know for sure she she still has to go back and get a ct scan and the gastrologist has requested for her to go dairy free for the entire month of October to try and see if that changes anything so it's just been kind of a difficult time as far as like with things with my sister goes and so that's just kind of put a sad kind of gloom over these last you know this last month or so just because I just feel so bad because she just hasn't been feeling good and I just feel so awful and I just want her to be okay so that's been really hard to deal with for the last like month or so and I just haven't really been talking about it in my vlogs you know because it's just such a sad like thing and I just want her to feel better but anyways that is all for these vlogs and I'm already working on my secret TBR video for October right now so I already got one book down for that video so I'm pretty excited about that so yeah you can expect more vlogs from me pretty soon coming up here but I am pretty excited for the month of October and I just hope things get a lot better for my sister soon <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching as always and I'll see you very soon with a new video bye